Hello, everyone. Good morning. I'm Yu Jae Wu, and this is a co work with Professor Jay Chi Yang. And the title of this work is on the integration of social activities and news express best learning in construction education. Here I'm showing you the agenda of this talk. Uh, first, we're going to introduce the overall work and prior works. We're going to introduce a course goal for this um, work. And the proposed and designed teaching strategy will be discussed in the third. And finally, we're going to draw the conclusion. Before that, we're going to show you the experimental result. And this is our learning outcome from students. They, they could produce a real 3D object and publishing them into the 2D news and publishing them online. So this is our learning goal. Nowadays, learning modeling with 3D software is very important. 3D models are very, very quite common in daily life. Like virtual reality, we have 3D environment. For multimedia education, um, to design the architecture, Buildings, houses, 3D models is very important. Modeling 3Ds um, can be used to increase and improve the creativity for students. In engineering design, uh, 3D models te technique is very important. Before we doing the real engine engines, uh, we could design a, a virtual objects before we go into doing physical object. For space planning, 3D models can be show can be used to uh, show a great work before we doing a real plan. For communication, uh, movie productions, we can create 3D characters, 3D environment, 3D backgrounds uh, to help an audience to realize the movie or to increase the effect of the move. And some researchers have integrated computer-supported learning with multimedia learning and, to sh and show you uh, showing the positive result by integrating higher-end um, higher uh, 3D models. However, learning 3D is very challenging because uh, you have to have the prerequisite of the 2D image processing. You should, you should have the background in 3D geometry concept. And third, uh, software of the 3D model, modeling software is very complicated, um, which has very, very um, detailed items, functions, and scripts that needs to be learned in one semester. And to generate a satisfactory works is also challenging because it's limited by the ability of the 3D model technique. And students have a limited knowledge in multimedia processing because they are new in this field. And also they have different background. For communication students, those background are should be treated as zero before this lecture because they have diff different backgrounds in learning mathematics or learning photos and learning arts. None of them learning 3D models before. Um, some prior literatures also show that integrating high-tech best visualization media for digitalization uh, the conceptual architecture design has positive result and some of the literature also show positive result by integrating um, the project okay uh, so that the members or teams could co have a nice co-work and increasing their learning outcome so our uh, motivation is derived from this. 3D model sketching tools in education has shown widely and great successful result 
in our days. Um, this software is simple and easy to learn. Among them, we choose the Google SketchUp, which can be used to integrate 2D and 3D easily and has a precise measurement to measure the size of the object. And it is pluggable because we could insert uh, new plugin tools to help us to uh, improve the model or prune the model. The most important that um, we could render it uh, to let the photo almost near to real. And the 3D model software is also um, interchangeable with and can be co-worked with Maya, 3D Max, and Google Earth. Here I'm showing you some of the of this software. Okay, so this is the result after render. Okay, we can render the object and the work by press uh, by applying the rendering tool so that you could render this, 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 this and model in the real light and intensity and the textures. Okay, this is a style. We could convert the entire 3D objects into another style. And this is another style. We could model a MRT head. Okay, for communication students, they could create a virtual studio background. Okay, uh, so in this paper, we want to solve this problem by combining the project-based learning and video learning and social activities. Their works should be published online in their social network, like Facebook. They have to promote their work. And in the project-based learning, um, the students are uh, required to um, participate the, the main subject topics. And then by following the topic, they have to publish news according to the subject in a short time. So they have to do in a 3D objects in a short time. And for some advanced topic, we propose and present a video learning lecture to help them learning at home outside from the school. They could choose to watch the video lecture or seek to find a solution in YouTube. In the social ac activity, they have a strong motivations because their work should be uh, put and post on their Facebook. And this is our course goal. In the beginning, I give them the 2D floor plan. And then, after some training, they have the capability in doing 3D objects. Finally, they could produce the real, um, real houses by insert and design furnitures like table, sofa, uh, cabinet, or toilet. And before I'm going to introduce a, our teaching strategy, um, here I'm discuss what, what is the traditional CAD learning. In tradition, uh, the CAD learning should be focusing on doing, uh, okay, uh, the teacher demonstrate their work and so that every learner sit there on their, in front of the computers and learn how to do um, after the teacher demonstrate his work. They have to step and um, step uh, follow the teacher. But in our teaching strategy, we treat the traditional CAD learning as a pre-processing step. Because in our, uh, as our discussed before, um, learning 3D model is very difficult because we, they have to have a uh, a uh, very, very uh, more and more knowledge about 3Ds before doing 3D software. So in the beginning of their learning, they have to um, learn how to do in 3D models and familiar with the software. Okay, and then go into our teaching strategy. In our project based strategy, okay, design 3D models is just part. The most important is that they have to um, integrate all of the multimedia like videos, like uh, mode, 
uh, 3D models um, and then integrate them into their news report and publishing online. So our t video lecturing will be treated as a supply tool uh, to engage in the students and let them learn at home. This is a screenshot of the video online lecture uh, reel. Okay, more detail, the teaching strategies list here. In the first 12 weeks, we have the normal training. Okay, so this is the traditional CAD learning stage. Okay, in the second stage, we tell and notify all the students. We have the project in the end of this semester, and we need to let them know we need to classify groups. Okay. Uh, which one should participate or which one join which groups are freely. But assigned to different topics is random for equal. And we have two different topics set. The advanced topic is a request for volunteers. For the groups, then choose um, the second topics they need to uh, randomly assign them into five different topics. Okay, so finally we have six topics. One is for advanced topic, they are volunteer. And for the remaining students, they are assigned into the normal topics randomly. Okay, in the following three weeks, um, the learners are learning about how to do in fundamental works and the teacher uh, doing the fundamental topics in the following three weeks, okay? And they have shown them the real example, which is very closely related to the final project. And at home, they could learn from the video lecture, okay? And the final week is a kick-off week. They have to do it in a short time, doing everything at a short time. Okay, here I'm going to give you a concrete example. This is a topic if they if the topic is about doing a uh, commercials they have to follow in this graph and this the given photos and then create 3d models according to these photos and then doing that and then create and insert a um, topic like a create a store in the first floor or they choose to publish as online news they have to publish okay uh, according to this and then insert this graph and then report about this graph okay and this is online lecture URL uh, we welcome everybody to join that and by clicking it and so that you will show you the real online video lectures okay and then the, the students are learning uh, could click it and draw into and to learn how to do in that, okay, to do in that, and learning, this is a learning lecture for advanced topic, and that's going back here. And this is the overall experimental design. And the testing subjects come from two different groups. Um, the first group is still the new media and communication departments, which comes from the two years ago, and the testing subjects come from, um, the number, the size is more than 60. The second group is also and has three students more. And we also supply, supply for additional tests to test whether our uh, teaching strategy is, is effective uh, crossing group. Okay, this is a final statistical result of the treatment. Okay, and this is the first group and this is the second group before and after. Okay. Here I'm going to show you, after our statistical evaluation, the result is significant positive improvement, okay? And this is the result, okay? The first year, okay, the result can be improved over from 82 to 86. And the, in the pretest, both groups have no difference. In the Second stage, stage after, by applying our teaching strategy, okay, the groups, both groups receive positive and significant result, okay, and after that we also evaluate both groups 
okay, they have no difference because they apply the same teaching strategy. Okay, so we test different uh, in different years to validate our idea. Okay, so the first year the result is positive. The second year our result is still the same. Uh, have the positive improvement over the pretest. Okay, and this is the additional test. We also show you that if we didn't apply this teaching strategy for the students, their average score is 77. And by applying our teaching strategy, the overall result can be improved or um, increased to 86. And the result and the p-value is very, very, very significant. Okay, And we're also doing the satisfactory uh, questionnaire. The result is also positive. OK, finally, show the conclusion. Um, in this work and this talk, we're going to tell you, um, tell everybody we're doing the news population work. And we integrate and replace the traditional CAD learning by convert the, over, the original topic into publishing news. So they have to learn and they have to know um, their 3D models should be published online and shared in their Facebook. The second is that we have a large-scale test uh, in 2015 and 2016. And the result, results are positively, significantly improved. Okay, And this is also true for the two different year students. And this is our presentation. That's it.